Hello everyone! Welcome back to another gameplay. Uh, we got a new, uh, new Sonic game. And, um, yeah, I didn't even know this, I didn't even, I didn't even know this game existed until after April Fool's Day. Um, until I started seeing it in my feed, I'm like, is this like some, like, fan project or whatever? So, but no, apparently this was like, this was supposed to be an April Fool's game, but people have been saying it's really good. And it's not super long. So, um, from what I've seen, it's mostly two hours. Um, I gotta keep it on my time. Because there's a chance I may split it up in parts. I'm not gonna be playing it all in one sitting. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play this. Um, I hope it's good. People have been saying it's good. I mean, I'll probably like it. I'm not very picky about Sonic games, I'll be honest. Phew, I made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. What kind of name should I give him? I could just put my name. Uh. I don't feel though. That was kind of weird. It's kind of weird, like saying my name in like the third person. So uh, I'm just gonna go with um. Um. Fuck, man. I don't know. Let me think about this. Alright, I've just decided I'll just call him fucking, um, Zero. Just the last part of my name. With the... Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hope passengers can read my scribble. I'm sure they can read it. Make sure I'm still recording. I am. It's good. A dining car. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this the first day? On, is this the first day on the job, Jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be that can't be so bad. Come on, Zero, shake it off. Oh, damn. Okay, Zero, did I uh just see you hitting yourself, uh, Mr. Conductor, sir? How are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho! Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on my retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She has already got her plane tickets to... Sp oh, I, I hate having Asperger's, but I can't read properly. To Spagonia Locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel's... F the hotel's... Fahaha. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. Okay. I can open the inventory anytime the view items. Oops. Okay. Yup. Oh, it's actually gonna do it. Merge menu, dining tech menu, features chili dog and salmon, chicken cordon. Okay. Right. Good to know. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Ha 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 ha. I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cordon blur. Ding ding ding, glad you can read the menu. Okay, ha ha ha. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventurers together. Me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure. To Noor? As a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to, to the dining car as a home base, so, so to speak. I'll be with you to get our tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Ha ha ha. Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Mm-hmm. I wonder who these two could be. This Amy. This Tails. Wow, this train's incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always... You know I always go out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Zero. You're sweating through your uniform. 
Hey pal, can I get you one of the can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, it's my captain uniform. Uh, of course, sir. Any part? Yes. Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and already. You'll join me, Zero, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Okay, can I like scroll around or oh no, maybe this is all on screen. Let's, talk to, let's just go left and right. Let's talk sorry of knuckles. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Tails. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It was my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Take it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to ha happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst when my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did it. I can't offer much, other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? No, he's not. I promise you an excellent stay on your train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Alright, SBO. <clears throat> Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls. What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Alright. I'm a fucking conductor. I almost forgot his name for a second. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak of it? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Alright, I'll have to remember that. Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> well, I certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday set festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Okay, yeah. Maybe we should leave for that half. <laughs> Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Shadow. In a very interesting outfit. Here. Oh, my foot's asleep. Ugh. Oh, give me like two seconds. Ah, fuck. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no sadly, but I have plastic grocery bags in the bag. I could get one for you. Hmm. That's there. Mm, so cold. Zero, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm good. Alright, Blaze. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much, on top of- Oh, excuse me. Thank you very much, on top of it, I see. A princess such as, <laughs> such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did you say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I, I admit I am a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Alright, last but not least, Rouge. Well, hello. Why, hello. Well, hello, you two. Is there someone else with you? What can I do for you? 
Good morning, ma'am. Oh, she was saying that. I'm stupid. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? Mine might have four. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else here. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Okay. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Zero, those, those are for your guests, you know. Train. Be sure Zero only gets one of those if they ask. Hmm. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a, actually a train. The conductor wants me to have the whole pal plate. Haha, <laughs> good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty, too. Alright, what else can I look at? Do I have anything else in my inventory? What's this folder? Oh, that's the... Oh, there's a safe... Oh, okay, there's more shit I can look at. Alright, so... Welcome aboard the Man Mirage Express. Okay... Do I just keep talking to him, or...? Hmm... Is there a... Controls? Text image and credits view, cover view... Invincibility? Brings... Okay. Uh, I'll try talking to someone again. Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I gonna do? Can I get your order? I'll be back for that chili dog. For a hero such as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. And how was he gonna buy the chili dog earlier? Talk to Knuckles again. Hmm. Maybe we should leave this dude alone. Can I take your order? Not interested. Okay. You know, either he's not really interested or he doesn't know how to read. The chicken cordial blur does sound good. Well, that answers that. Scales again. What a beautiful train. I feel completely at ease. Agreed. Great. Okay, let's try the other one. I don't like reading things from strangers. Fair enough. Okay. This train is exquisite. I'm enjoying my time already. Can I take your order? I would order one of each when I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does. What are excellent principles. Plus, I had a snack right before this. Oh. Yeah, I guess let's just try talking to everyone. Find anything yet? Uh, we're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Oh, I guess this ticket might be somewhere. Another. Oh, okay. It's just this dialogue again. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Is there. Oh, there's arrow keys right here. I'm fucking, I'm an idiot, bro. I can't say the other word. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh, there's a ticket. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've been watching, I've been watching more of those fucking... There's a fucking dude called King Ass Ripper, and his videos are absolutely brilliant. And I've just been, he, he always, he always makes the sound fucking oh as in his fucking videos, and I've just been fucking doing it more. Alright, let's go back to Mr. Um, Mr. Vector. Find anything? Well, we might just have what you need, but yeah, if you want to look it up, uh, go for it. It's ghetto content, but it's funny. Zero, why don't you show your friend here what we picked up? Bam. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Ho ho, Zero here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ho ho. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who made me both my microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Alright, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for my departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? On, my voice is gonna keep fluctuating back and forth, so just get, get used to it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give a unique voice for everyone. It's too fucking. Eh. 
You'll you'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist the Zero if they need any help, won't you? Mm. That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor on this train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to. Ooh, excuse me. Please talk to Zero here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. Uh, you all look amazing. I trust. I trust you all. Read your lore cards as well. Lore cards. That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people wouldn't know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for for it is my birthday. Of course. But there go, mix the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. you will be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you are the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. A fucking Roblox shit? And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm? Hmm, sounds fun. Break that you're the butcher and SBO the poet. Both found in the library. Here the SBO, we get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosaying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Ah, I was listening and I hope this is okay. More than alright, you can help ensure that everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. Okay. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Alright. This is a cool Among Us update. Ah, this is so exciting. A, mir a mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. And how thrilling. I have goosebumps. Say, oh. <laughs> I'm going to try to refrain from doing that. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. That's fair. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the, e the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh. The, the train started moving. It, it, it's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? I, I'm, I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. Sorry, I can't yell. Unfortunately. Oh. both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everything alright? Yeah, my head's spinning up, spinning up, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the, into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth of this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in an interview. We should go check on the others, Zero. Oh, we should go check on the others. Zero, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Maybe give that f give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. 
Hmm? Let's find another way. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over there. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. She, something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. Hmm. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flaky commander did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay. Just the shelf, I guess. The shelf blocking your exit is currently not budging. Hey, Zero, look closely at this. I wonder how the side of the shelf got smashed. There's, no, there's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much to keep up. It looks like a bite mark. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crown the shelf is added to inventory. Oops, wrong button. Chill string of both is missing on. It looks like a bite mark to me. So. I'm wondering if it's. I must, I mean, I'll probably just limit that the vector, but I mean, let's, I mean, let me check everything else. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally would never make microwave meals, but I prefer to cook my cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza, haha. I've only had microwave lunches this week. <laughs> you know what? That's me pretty much every day. Ah, uh, the wet floor sign, keeping people aren't alert and safe. Once I slipped on the spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Well, Sonic really is as fast as they say, but he's going so fast he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Okay. Amy and the thing behind her. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. Um, well, I have nothing to interrogate her about. I don't know, like... I mean, she didn't answer the question about her hammer. Let's just talk to her first. Who is it? Oh, it's just the same dialogue. All right, let's interrogate her. Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Okay. There's got to be another way out of here. Okay. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to her mystery, but, I'm just, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to... Okay. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Okay. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. The music change. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Well... Well, say attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Zero and I were knocked out. Attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. <clears throat> Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Evidence to prove that? Zero, let me slip, slip you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once it has been deducted, we must form an argument to fight back. Alright, let's do this. I played Dying Around by Phoenix, right? I can do this. Um... We'll say this. This one. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposedly proof something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, uh, I, uh... Mm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bat batniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I played a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow that train of thought and fire a comeback, like Sonic would do. Alright. Think! Arrow keys in space, okay. Okay, I've been down. I'll just do left and right. Hmm? 
sure the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on the train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Uh, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was that? What was the shelf hit with then? This. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Think. All right, more of this. It's a banger music. Oh, I missed that. Huh? Huh? Be gaming now. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own, but if it's attached to something, it could. So like, like let's say, a hammer. Uh, this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Yeah, that's what I expected, to be honest. Maybe she just didn't want to admit she broke it. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh, uh. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all on my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry, but I mean, yeah. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. But lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. All right. That was simple enough. It seems pretty linear so far. I don't really think... I mean, if the game's two hours, I think we're just kind of... We're talking to each character and then something happens. Wait, is that... It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh, body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these moons on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? <laughs> I, I was expecting it to just like, it was supposed to like turn Sonic over and there's just like a massive stab wound in like his abdomen. It's like bleeding everywhere. Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic, Sonic! Oh no, oh no, no, I feel myself panic. Calm down, Zero, what do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Zero, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on that last ride. <laughs> hmm. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. That's the cold opening? Damn. Well, look at this place. Uh, also, Tails. Tails has been the most reliable so far. So, yeah, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone ahead, but it seems you really, she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt. Ha ha ha. He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. If you don't mind, does it go if I tag along with you? Ah, oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? 
The last guy to work work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Yo, varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? I'm trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, they're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I could see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us uh, what you're up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi? And Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why, why take it on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Zero, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were, we were apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Alright. Um, I think we'll end the first part here. Uh, up next, we'll just uh, start looking around and uh, talk to Knuckles. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.